So it'd be some twist where it's like, yo, everybody comes over. The everybody. city folk have their own Black Friday, but we got our Black Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's Blackout Friday. Hello, everyone. My name is Brandon. My name's Keith, and this is another edition of Tank Talks. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I can I can never remember the tune of our opening music, but it, here it's probably fading out, right? I always think now. of the podcast one because that was like upbeat acoustic. I made that I in GarageBand, very very rudimentary. Really, you should put that on iTunes one day and let people buy it. Mm, well, well, they'll we'll have, have to a want it. Commentary first. track on there. What are we doing? Right? Uh, Keith, today we have busted out the old Red Solo cop. And now, for a lot of people, that would mean we're going to play a drinking game. But this is a Christian show, <laughs> this so we're is a not going to do a drinking game. Christian Minecraft server, everyone. Instead, we're going to do something that Christians do. <laughs> <laughs> Which is put paper in cups. Yes. We have we have put this... We have <laughs> filled this Wait, cup what? up. What? <laughs> what are we doing? With paper of musicians. Yes. Because this past week, I realized that there are no... Thanksgiving songs. Yes, there is Adam Sandler's turkey song, but that's really just an ode for all the places you can eat a turkey at. It doesn't really capture the feeling right. of Thanksgiving. And when I look at all the Christmas songs, Christmas songs have been covered by everyone. From your your Christian side of uh -huh. Reliant Kane Family Force 5, right. to your Mariah Carey's, Correct. to I'm pretty sure Eminem probably has a Christmas song out there. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Probably. I would doubt He'd it. probably kill someone in the song, but Maybe. it's still it, that there. That might be old Eminem. Old, yeah, old Eminem. So we have uh, taken the time to write down some artists from all walks of music life. Sure. And we are going to draw them out of this cup, and we are going to give you just a look at what that song would look like if they wrote it. Okay. Uh, the object of this is that we need to put a positive spin on it, just in case those people are watching. Okay, so we don't want to make a negative song? Well, you never know, because Blake Shelton could be watching this. So That's I want true. to be able to argue to so him, you know, hey, Blake. Yeah. Here, do this. You wouldn't want me to say, oh, Blake Shelton be making a dumb country song. Well, now we gotta say, if Blake right. Shelton put his own brand on Thanksgiving, right. yeah, what does it exactly. look like? Okay, also it should be noted that you will not be hearing us. It would be very cool if we had the funds to actually produce a Thanksgiving song in the style of these artists. <laughs> but we'll need more interaction from you and more of your money to do that. <laughs> yes. Maybe next year. <laughs> That's your goal. Yeah. Build us a studio next Maybe year. A Patreon goal. <laughs> All right, let's see. Our first artist is Jonas Brothers. The Joni, the JoJo Bros. The pop trio hey, bro, known as the Jonas Brothers. Do you know Joe? No. All right, I'm finished. You didn't say who's Joe because I was going to say Joe Mama. <laughs> oh, we can go back. You know, it's a, Ooh, it's Joe. a meme. It's a meme. If the Jonas Brothers produced the song, it would probably be a, be about how they're going down for thanksgiving it'd be something starting off with their their family their mom's cooked a good dinner their grandma's brought her like casserole but then they're looking over and they're noticing that there's a girl that's at thanksgiving oh okay. this girl, girl <laughs> this girl would not be part of their family she would just be a random girl that i don't know maybe her mom invited over or yeah hey here's our neighbor she's my random thanksgiving girl <laughs> so they would just bond over and he'd be like the the macaroni looks so good, but not as good as your eyes. Mm. You got classics like if there's that. There's one the song. thing that I tell Lizzie all the time: it's like, <laughs> "Girl, you got them macaroni eyes." So it'd be a good little romantic twist on Thanksgiving. Sure. You know how Thanksgiving is the season. Honestly, of love. though, there are plenty of songs about picking up a new girl or a new lover on Halloween, a new a new relationship on Christmas. There's never a song about picking somebody up on Thanksgiving. Probably because you're passed out from all the food. Probably so. But you gotta watch that football game. It's got nothing to do with only... Food Cowboys. No time for girls. <laughs> yeah. <that's right. laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. I got Skillet. <laughs> okay, so Skillet's Thanksgiving song would probably be... I picture it being a humorous song. Because, you know, they kind of double down on the fact that, yeah, we're like hard rock and roll, but also kind of like we we live in the in-between, I guess, yeah. if you know... I mean, I don't really listen to Skillet anymore, but positive. Uh, I think they would probably do a humorous song about what it's like to be a turkey on Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, it would just be this hard rock, like, double bass, like, what it looks, what, what Thanksgiving looks like from the point of view of the turkey, and what it looks like from inside the oven, 
and all these different oh, things. Oh, so it's not about turkey surviving, it's about a no, turkey it's dying. About, it, yeah, so the turkey wouldn't lose his personification when he passed on. Uh-huh. You know, the turkey would still be conscious, not really conscious, obviously, but his point of view would remain mm-hmm. throughout being in the oven and, you know, being consumed and torn apart. Okay. Farm. Hey, if you want to be, if you want to be heavy metal skillet, you got to do heavy metal things. Sing about turkeys being cooked alive. That's right. Uh, next we got Imagine Dragons. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they would just do one of those weird <laughs> songs because all their songs now just start off with like some kind of like weird music and the guy's like I lost eyes it just he says something <laughs> weird so it would be like if I'm thinking of the right of Magic Dragons you are they would do something about how like people are enjoying Thanksgiving in space so they'd be like on this planet, we brought Thanksgiving, so that way we may feast and show our thanks. So it'd be like <laughs> Thanksgiving on Jupiter. It, yeah, it would, there'd be a lot of swells. There'd be a lot of airy, you know, airy, uh, swells, airy, yes, sw- swells of music. Um, I'm trying to remember that song now. They sing like Kingdom Come and like, and like, wake up. Uh, oh no, no, I think I'm making up. Wake me up before you go, go. Th- that's but I was not Imagine Dragons. Thinking of, of their style with that. Okay. Maybe we don't know enough about Imagine Dragons to, oh, baby, I gotta go. <laughs> Florida Georgia line. I think. You see, Florida Georgia line's not country enough to want to marry their cousins. <laughs> but. I don't know. I feel like they'd be at, like, have some kind of goofy cousin love kind of thing. Like, they're real, <laughs> they're real country. Florida Georgia line. Theirs would be like a Thanksgiving party, right? So, so like, Florida, like we all. Have. Well, no, like so. Think so. So Florida Georgia line song is like when the sun goes down on all on Turkey Town. <laughs> you know, it would be very exciting. It would be this kind of slow. Everybody is uh, all got a, the trip to fan. Is that what it is in Turkey? What's uh-huh. it called? Um. Anyway, it the, everybody's got all that. They're napping. So it'd be the slow beginning. And then it would just like, but whenever it'd be the equivalent of Kenny Chesney's "When the Sun Goes Down," but it's like when the turkey, when the turkey goes down. So it'd be some twist where it's like, yo, everybody comes over. The everybody. city folk have their own Black Friday, but we got our Black Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's Blackout Friday. That's their thing. Everybody on Thanksgiving night into midnight is part. The whole the whole country neighborhood comes and they party hardy till the morning light. And there, everybody just gets blackout drunk on Thursday night. I not quality wise, but I think money wise, that's a hit, hit wise. That's a hit. Florida Georgia Line right now is in the line with their that's a hit. Black Friday. That's Brendan. That's we just. I think we might be music producers. <laughs> Florida Georgia, call us. That's their names, right? <laughs> All right, here you go. <laughs> For some reason, that one line's got... the drummer. <laughs> huh? Line is the drummer. You got Florida, yeah. Georgia, <laughs> yeah. Line back there. Poor, he didn't even get a state name. <laughs> uh, I don't like them. <laughs> so, um, our next one is Michael Buble. Michael Buble. <laughs> Christmas, he doesn't get to make one. He would like think about making a Thanksgiving one, and then he would, he would just in the middle of a recording, you'd hear, uh, uh, I'm. I'm sorry, Santa. You're right. I shouldn't be doing this, and then he'd stop. But no, what? Is I about? I think with Michael Bublé, he's got Christmas down, and now Thanksgiving would give him a time to make some more money, warm up for big money season. Uh, his would it would follow a, a Jonas Brothers type. Like there's there's romance at Thanksgiving, but it'd be okay. more of like how he he loves his wife more now because yeah, as so he thankful. sees her cooking. And he's like, I'm enjoying this dinner. And he was like, baby, like, it'd be something like, you know, and July 4th, you you light up my world. Like, Christmas time, like, you warm my heart. But like, at Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, you fill my belly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Now, here's, here's another spin. Come with me on this journey. Mm-hmm. Michael Buble, his song is a Thanksgiving song, uh-huh. but it's only about putting away the food putting away all the the fall decorations and taking out the Christmas tree. <laughs> it's like, it's a song about what happens at his house on Thanksgiving night. So it'd be by the time you hear this song, 
Thanksgiving yeah. is dead. Yeah, by the time you... So I'm eating turkey, we're singing it. But by uh-huh. the time this song is over, my Christmas tree's up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that way he doesn't have to lose his Christmas, you know, his Christmas gig. Mm-hmm. Adele. Oh, man. This song is a song about the wife of the turkey that died on Thanksgiving. <laughs> this is about the scorn. This is about the turkey not chosen. I'm hearing a concept <laughs> album with her and Skillet. Okay. A crossover we haven't seen yeah. before. Um, I just, yeah, I'm, the reason I, I hear, I, I'm, I'm hearing um, Set Fire to the Rain in my head. And I'm just pick her, picturing a turkey so angry. Uh-huh. An angry turkey in the woods. Not only that was their husband taken, but they were not chosen. And she, you know, it's about... A turkey's a turkey's battling with the emotions of not being chosen for Thanksgiving. Uh, I think for me, all my artists are taking a very humorous route, uh-huh. and a lot of turkey personification. Mm, for I some see that. Reason. We'll um we'll do one more each. Okay, we'll see. Adele's so classy, though. Maybe, ooh, maybe Adele's song actually is about. She was her song is about accounting for all the things she's thankful for. Uh-huh. Guess who's not on the list? Her lover. It's about breaking up on Thanksgiving. That's the Adele song. Now here's one, Kanye West. Okay, Kanye. If this would have been a month ago. Yeah. Completely different album. Yeah, absolutely. Taking a very like R-rated Thanksgiving. I, probably about like someone's dying on Thanksgiving. He or was definitely still a spaceman a month ago. Like what? The, what are you thinking? Yeah, Kanye? but I think but now, now it thinking. would probably be a wholesome. I'm thinking like a looped like acoustic guitar. He's probably <laughs> got his like kids like singing the chorus. You got you got a bridge where your kids yeah. are saying like oh no I'm doubt for mommy and daddy and no all. doubt Kim says and something you know some catchphrase. She would like this album. Yeah, song. he's. He's throwing out some bars where he's like, Thanksgiving is the time for living. Like, yeah. if you ain't. That's a Kanye Ron if I ever heard Yeah, it. there you go. <laughs> and then you probably got like, the, the cover for the single would be like them dressed up as. Um, pilgrims? I, I don't know, pilgrims or and Indians. Maybe. I was trying to think of another. What, what do you think when you think Thanksgiving? Like a TV show? Maybe like a... I'm kind of picturing them all, his whole family, uh-huh. all white. Mm-hmm. They're all dressed in white, except there's one thing of color on the album cover, and it's they're all actually sitting in a life-size gravy boat full of gravy. Like him and Kim mm-hmm. are like, like a hot tub full of gravy, but it's a gravy boat on the... All white. What about... And some brown gravy. Norman Rockwell's. Like, everyone's sitting at Thanksgiving and Dad's cooking, like, cutting yeah, turkey. Yeah, but it's... Oh. You got Kanye cutting the yeah. turkey. Yeah. That's not even... We're not even talking music now. We're making your whole I album with Kanye. I, I think if we... I don't know what Florida Georgia Line's gonna do for their, like, cover, but I think Kanye, Florida Georgia Line right there... Kanye's got the spotlight right now. I'm starting to pick up that I think the wild cards might... Be Honestly. best suited for holidays. Yeah. Hey. All right. Last one. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Who better? Now this one's got to be about a breakup on uh-huh. Thanksgiving. It's this the is rule. About a breakup. Um. Do you want to do old Taylor or new Taylor? New Taylor is about like how she killed a boyfriend on Thanksgiving. Old Taylor is how she got broken up with on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. Is it, are we going to take a wholesome, like, he left me, but now I still got my family? Or Ooh. he left me, now I killed his whole family? Yeah, so it's either teardrops on my guitar, the Thanksgiving comforts me during the breakup, or mm-hmm. is look what you made me do, I stabbed you with the turkey card at night, <laughs> you know. I took an electric turkey card for two of them. Oh, yeah. Um... Either way, I think ta- she's going to make a hit. Mm-hmm. Say what you will about Taylor. Say whether you know she's an ally to the right communities or whether she is good or not. She's she's she on, makes money. She's on another level, honestly. Mm-hmm. Honestly, Taylor Swift is just untouchable at this point. Mm-hmm. It's wild. So if somebody could make one a good Thanksgiving song that no one would question or not enough people would question, it's going to be either Taylor, Florida Georgia Line, or Kanye. I think those are our two. I think that's our top ones, honestly. Well, there you go. So Thanksgiving, make a, if you know of any Thanksgiving songs, let us know about them. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you are a producer for any of these musicians and you found your way to the art corner of the internet, man, tell us how you got here, mm-hmm. and then let us know 
if you would like, you know, to collaborate. We've got plenty of good ideas. I would say even if you've produced your own Thanksgiving song, yeah, drop us a link and let us mm -hmm. let us hear it. We'll absolutely listen to it on the next episode. Well, not the next one, but in the future. I think we got one more Thanksgiving episode, maybe. So maybe, maybe, so. maybe next year. Maybe, maybe next five year. years from now, if someone finds this. <laughs> if they find, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the YouTube they unearth server. this. Hopefully YouTube servers will still be up. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And please remember that we love you very much. Yes. Yeah.